Hey everybody, Andrew here. Almost 2014, four o'clock in the afternoon on New Year's Eve. So I just thought I'd get in the last review of the year. And this review is for a stand. Now a while back ago, I can't even remember what month it was now, I think it was November, yeah it was November actually, November the 16th, which was <clears throat> the first anniversary of uh, my vaping. So I had given up a year ago last November the 16th and um, Vape Fest Ireland was being held. So I went down to it, it was in Abbey Leaks, which is kind of in the centre of Ireland. And there was plenty, lots of really good stuff going on down there, really good vendors, uh, great to meet lots of the people that I'd, I'd come across on Facebook, uh, but never seen in real life. Also really bizarre to see um, some of the, you know, the little avatars of people, and then actually seeing the people in real life, and seeing how close they actually were <coughs> to their avatar, which in many cases wasn't very close at all. But anyway, of all of those, people that I met down there. Um, well, there was there were some who really stood out in terms of what it was that they were actually producing, actually quite a few of them. But there was one guy who caught my eye and his name is Roscoe L. That's his Facebook name anyway, uh, or Ross. Now what Ross is, is Ross makes stands, uh, mod stands. Um, his profession is he's a tree surgeon. So he works with wood all day, every working day, he's out there with trees. And what he does is with the wood that he comes across, any particularly good bits of wood that he either finds or he's had to sort of cut off as part of his tree surgery work or, you know, in some cases he'd have to fell trees because, you know, for whatever reason. Um, what he'll always do is he'll look through the wood and see if he can find something a little bit special. and. What he's done is he's now started to produce mod stands from these special bits of wood. Now, I asked him basically what kind of woods he was using, and it seems to be everything pretty much that grows in Ireland. Um, so he's talking about beech, walnut, cherry, elm, ash, oak. Uh, and what he particularly looks for is he looks for um, spelting. Now, I didn't know what that was, but apparently spelting, it's, it's a thing that happens, I think it's some kind of a, you know, uh, a, a fungus or something, which ultimately, when the wood is felled, it means that you get these black lines through it, which makes it look really, really attractive. Um, the other thing he does with his, uh, with his stands is, with the wood, he basically seasons it. So all the wood is at least a year seasoned. And then essentially he looks for the shapes. He looks for, you know, what way it's naturally going. He'll start off with a log. He'll use a bandsaw. He'll cut it into the various different, you know, sort of shapes. And then he'll look at the wood and he'll see, well, what can he do with that piece of wood to sort of follow its natural lines to get the most out of it? I suppose it's like any sculptor, you know, if you're producing something and you have a piece of stone, you know, or a jewel and, you know, you're cutting a diamond or whatever, you all see these guys, these artists, and believe you me, I'm not one of them, but you see them sort of checking it out to see, okay, well, on the basis of what it is I have here, what can I do with this to get the most out of it, to make it look the best that it possibly can? And obviously to do that, you have to, with wood, you're checking the grain, you're checking you know, well, if I go that far out, does that mean that I'm getting a knot in it or whatever? Um, I'm pretending I know what goes on here. I don't really. But all I know is that the result of what he comes out with is just absolutely beautiful. So when Vape Fest was finished, um, he very kindly gave me one of his stands. And um, so this is what you're looking at now. And this is in daily use for me. Uh, I use it the whole time. So basically I have this on my desk uh, and any of the stuff that I need, you know, on a regular daily basis is all sort of contained within it. And to me, it just looks fantastic. And another one of the great things about these stands are that they're completely unique. Every single one is unique. So it's not like I've seen other stands that are out there that are made from MDF and you know sort of plywood or you know whatever and some of those can look fantastic I'm not knocking them in any way but I think the point of difference with uh, Ross's stands 
are the fact that every one is cut on the basis of the wood, you know, essentially what the wood looks like to him and how he can best use that to give it all its, you know, so that every bit of grain can come out and it can look as good as it possibly can do. Right, this is the stand up close and um, I hope you can see. Let's try it like that. Unfortunately, it's night time here, so everything here, all the lights are uh, artificial, so um, maybe you can't sort of see it in its in its true glory, uh, in its natural colour. Um, what's very obvious about this for a start is, if you look at the curves of it, this isn't just a straight piece. You know, this is, is all beautifully curved, very, very smooth. Um, I mean, t time has been spent on this, and again... If you look at it, you can see all these black marks in it here. This is spelting uh, down here as well. And you see it running across here. And that's what makes, for me anyway, this so, so nice. You know, it's not just a, a piece of normal wood. This is, you know, this has been sort of picked specifically for this job and then turned in such a way or carved in such a way that um, it just brings out the best in it and I think it looks great. Now obviously within this you've got different sizes of holes and um, these holes here are you know we'll take a sort of a standard mod I mean there's a, a Provari um, which goes in there fine uh, these smaller ones here will take there we go that's a if you can see it there that's just putting a an Ego battery in there um, at the sides here, there's juice that's a how many is in that? It's a 30 ml bottle that fits in there, uh, and then these smaller ones at the front um, take uh, drip tips, which just go in like this. So that's this particular configuration, but there are lots of different configurations um, that you can get, and uh, and you can get custom versions as well. So if you want one with a square cut in, so that you can put a an MVP into it, you can get that as well. So um, the other thing is, is this is one of the earlier ones, and you can see that there's green discs, felt discs at the bottom of some of these holes. Um, they uh, you can certainly still get those. But now he can also do flocking. And flocking basically means that it's it's like this felt, except it's right the way around. So it's at the bottom and it's also running up the sides. Um, and within all of that, I think he, there's a number of colours he can do for the flocking and po possibly the felt as well. Um, and what he can do at the moment is green, which you can see there, red, turquoise, light grey, and purple. Um, yes, that's for the flocking. And then for these pieces at the bottom, at the moment it's just green or black. But if you get them flocked, then you know you can again, depending on the colour of the wood that you decide to go for, whether you're going for a blonder wood or a darker wood, that you can then combine it with you know your green, your red, turquoise, light grey, and purple uh, to make something which is even more individual. Uh, and I think that's terrific. And um, yes, another thing I meant to mention is that the wax that he uses on it, which makes it so smooth and brings brings the grain up so nicely on it, is food and toy safe. So this is a wax which, you know, even if uh, somebody ends up deciding to lick this thing, which who knows, maybe you might because they're so attractive, um, you know, it's not going to do anybody any damage. It's a safe wax that's being used. So that's it. My abstract vape stand. And this is one of the earlier ones, so it doesn't have the flocking inside. It's got the uh, discs at the bottom. But as I mentioned, uh, he can now do flocking uh, within all of these holes. Uh, again, this is one particular configuration, but Essentially, he's got quite a number of different configurations, but also can be customised. And uh, as I think I mentioned earlier on, you can also, I've seen some of the ones he's done recently, which are taking sort of strange shapes, like, you know, an MVP, for instance. So you'll have a square square one to go in there, or a Juno, or a Touchwood, or, you know, any one of these sort of slightly odd-shaped uh, mods, he'll be able to do it. 
So um, basically you can get them on Facebook and the address is up wherever it is up there. Um, and what you need to do is messaging him, message him. His uh, website isn't up yet, but is due to be up fairly soon. When it is, I'll put in the description of the video, I'll put up uh, what the, uh, the address is. Um, Cost-wise, um, for the smaller ones, it's anywhere between about 15 euro and 45 euro, which to me sounds really, really good value for something which is, you know, it's, it's so individual and it's so, you know, nobody else in the world has got this one, you know, which is just fantastic uh, for me and I love that aspect of it. Uh, his custom ones and bigger ones, you know, and he'll do bespoke ones uh, for you based on what it is that you want to put in it, you know, how many holes that you want, what sizes, da 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 da. Uh, and so the price of that is sort of uh, basically you talk to him and he gives you a price and you agree and then uh, you're very pleased when whatever it is that you've customised uh, suddenly arrives to you. So that's it. So not much more I can say other than the fact that it is one of the things that I use every single day. Uh, I like it as much today as I did when I got it, probably more so. I probably will invest on getting a bigger one because my collection has started growing. Uh, although something like this is, at this size, is great for just sitting on a desk. Because it's not like something this size, you know, like some of the ones you see out there. So nothing more for me to say really, other than have a great new year, a really good 2014. Uh, I think there's, there's a lot of excellent stuff happening um, in the world of vaping. And I think this is testament to it. The real artisans are coming out. You're seeing in mod makers, stand builders, um, you know, you're really starting to see uh, people with great skills, you know, coming to the fore and producing really quality stuff. So hopefully 2014 will herald even more of that. Uh, and uh, so all I can say is Happy New Year. Thanks for watching. And uh, I'll catch you again soon. Cheers.